Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ from the Radio Workshop. Do you remember I showed you a, a Kia? I think it was in the last video, like an iambic key type thing, a little electronic board that I got from the Ukraine. I put it all together and uh, was it a couple of people said, oh, when you've done it and you've got an iambic type key, we want to see you using it. Well, I'm not going to plug it into the radio. I haven't got a key yet because the cost of them is so expensive, but I've made one. Now, there's the dashes, there's the dots. There we are. There we are. Uh, it's it's not e easy to use. Um, anyway, let's let's move on. I, I, I've made a video clip so of a close up so you can see what's going on. Right, this is my. <laughs> don't laugh. This is my key. Okay, so you've got the dashes outside, dots that side. <laughs> it's not funny. So if you're calling CQ, for example, then, then my call sign would be okay. That's the electronics, there's a little speaker there, the speed controller. Got it on a PP3 battery at the moment. So there we are. I mean, that is good enough. You could actually use that on the radio, you know, to have contacts with people. It takes a bit of getting used to. I used to use a proper iron bit key many decades ago, but this, you know, that was quite easy. But this one does take a bit of getting used to. So, uh, yeah. That's, the idea is on the straight key you're doing this all the time, it's the wrist action, whereas on this is hardly any movement, just your finger and thumb, you know. So, um, yeah. So I'd send my name to whoever I'm talking to, which would be... My QTH would be... That's it. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it does take some getting used to. I mean, I've only done this for fun, just to show that the electronics works, you know. Um, it's, as I, you saw on the clip, it's two, oops, got a mind of its own, two steel rulers just bent in the vice. <laughs> anyway, I might use it on the air. I don't know, I might uh, plug it into my Kenwood HF transceiver. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would like to. I will buy one one day. You know, I'll find one reasonably priced. It's just that um, you know, some of them are just so expensive. And I'm not too sure about buying a very... I mean, I've seen them about 40 or 50 pounds, but I don't know what they're like. Is that... Well, but mind you, this, this costs like a couple of quid. Just not the electronics. That was about four, 13, 14 pounds. You know, two steel rulers. <laughs> it was about two quid. Seriously though, you could actually, you know, if you put some effort into it, you could make one, get some nice brass strips instead of rulers. Uh, you know, decent piece of wood or some sort of base. You know, you could stain it or varnish it, polish it or whatever. You could actually make quite a nice one, uh, you know, with the little threaded and adjustments and the knurled nuts and the rest of it. Binding posts at the back for your connections. You know, it, to, to be honest, it's not, you know, it's not that, it's not rocket science as they say. Um, yeah, it's hardly worth varnishing this wood and making this one look nice. Oh dear, don't. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye bye for now.